Good evening, parents and families, and thank you for joining Dr. Chavez and I in this virtual Senior Awards Night of 2020. I so look forward to this night every year and being able to recognize the achievements, achievements of our top seniors. But sadly, I wish I could see all of you in your smiling faces and shake your hands and hug you as normal. This virtual world is becoming the new normal, but I sure do miss all of you. Your class is so special to me because I've known all of you since you were in kindergarten. And this class is the first class that I started with as the principal when you were all freshmen more than three and a half years ago. However, I will not let the situation break my spirit and it shouldn't break yours. It can never take away your incredible work and dedication to your academics, athletics, and being overall true warriors. So tonight, seniors, we celebrate you. And I speak for the district, your, the staff, and your teachers in saying that we are all so very proud of you. Before Dr. Chavez, our Master of Ceremonies, gets started, I want to send out a huge thank you to our continued supporters from our community that each year give our students scholarships to provide necessary financial support in achieving their dreams of the future. So thank you for your continued kindness and support to all our students at Galt High School. We have a lot of awards to give out and scholarships, so without further ado, Dr. Chavez is going to lead us off. Thank you, Mrs. Beck. Welcome students and families, donors, and other honored guests to Galt High School's Senior Awards Night 2020. Even in these unprecedented times, we want to make sure that we celebrate our class of 2020 and their accomplishments. You've worked so hard, and tonight you will be recognized. Donors, this celebration would not be possible without you. Thank you for your generosity and for working with me on making this happen. And now, Mrs. Beck will be presenting the first award. Tonight, I have the honor of presenting the Marine Corps Awards. For the first award, it is the Distinguished Athlete Award, and that is being presented to Logan Mayfield and Madison Peterson. Congratulations. The next Marine Corps Award is the Scholastic Excellence Award, and that award is being presented to Logan Mayfield. Congratulations again, Logan. And the last Marine Corps Award is the Semper Fidelis, and that award is going to Madeline Baker. The next award is the Hadley Marie Hubbard Memorial. Hadley Marie was the beautiful, beloved granddaughter of Mr. Harry St. John, an alumnus of Galt High School. Hadley Marie passed away in infancy, and her grandfather wanted to commemorate her life by honoring those in the medical field who fought really hard to help her. This year, the award was designated for a male recipient. However, there were no male applicants this year. But there was an applicant that did stand out. And that $2,000 award goes to her this evening. Congratulations, Melody Maravilla. Melody, please contact Mrs. Solorio in the main office for details on how to claim your award. Congratulations again. The next one is a Blast from the Past award. This scholarship recognizes a male and a female recipient who have relatives that have graduated from Galt High School. This year, the award of $500 each goes to Violet Summer and Robert Bulahan. Congratulations. I'll give your awards to Mrs. Bayer to give to you. And then there is the David J. Rodriguez Memorial. That's a new award this year. This scholarship was created in honor of the memory of David J. Rodriguez. David was born in Guadalajara, Mexico, and made his life in the US. He was a longtime resident of Galt, and his children and grandchildren attended Galt High School. The most important thing in David's life was his family, and he always put his family first. He was also a hard worker who persevered through many hardships. As a memorial, the Rodriguez family will award Galt High School students that exemplifies the best quality of their beloved patriarch. This is the first year that this scholarship has been awarded, and we are fortunate that Mrs. Choate, the founder of the scholarship and her committee, chose not one, but three awardees. On behalf of Ms. Choate and her family, we would like to congratulate the following. First, the $500 award goes to Marcelo Lopez. Congratulations. 
Then the 250 award, there's two of those, go first to Silvia Rodriguez and the next one to Melody Maravilla. Congratulations, all of you. This is Congratulations. Beth. I have the next award, which is for the Lee Roberts Memorial. Mr. Roberts was a beloved teacher and coach who taught at both Galt and Estrelita High School for 34 years. He taught business, California history, and economics. He also coached JV, football, and basketball. This year, the $2,000 scholarship is awarded to Mia Erisman. Congratulations, Mia. And this is a little clip about what Mrs. Roberts had to say about Mia. I truly enjoyed reading Mia's essay, and while all who applied deserved scholarships and demonstrated need, her words stayed with me. I think that's because she wants to be a teacher and it created a bond with me. I hope she becomes one and passes her wisdom to many of those because she will touch their lives. Lee would be very happy that Mia hopefully becomes a teacher too. I thank all of you for your applications and plans and strongly hope that you will be able to achieve them. The world needs all of you. Contact Mrs. Solario for your award, Mia. Thank you. The next scholarship I have is the Lodi Memorial Hospital Scholarship. Lodi Memorial Hospital Foundation was incorporated in 1980 to promote health care in the greater Lodi area, fostered by community and philanthropy. To increase awareness and enhance our mission, the foundation began awarding scholarships in 2009. Individuals are given consideration based on financial need, school involvement, employment, citizenship, academic achievement, and dedication and determination. At least 50% of the funds are given to those pursuing a career in healthcare, which is so needed right now. On behalf of Ms. Carolyn Hoff, events director and office manager at Lodi Memorial, we would like to congratulate the following recipients. A big congratulations to Betsy Robles, a winner of $1,000 award. And the next one is Violet Summer, who is a winner of the $500 reward. Congratulations, ladies. Next, I have the Larry Canfield Memorial Scholarship. On November 12, 2008, Sacramento County Sheriff's Deputy Larry Canfield was tragically killed while in the line of duty. Deputy Canfield was a 1983 graduate of Galt High School, where he excelled in sports and was an active member, member in the FFA. To honor Deputy Canfield's life, his family and friends have established a $1,000 scholarship in his name. The Canfield Memorial Scholarship will be issued annually to a Galt and Liberty Ranch student who exemplifies some of the qualities and traits Deputy Canfield possessed. And this year, the award goes to Mr. Ethan Reese. Congratulations, Ethan. The next award is the Rebecca Lodge 136 of Elk Grove. This scholarship is awarded to a student who is either attending a college or a trade school. And special awards and honors as well as the 500 word essay were also taken into consideration when they made their decision. Ms. Sherry Mason, who represents the Rebeccas, had this to say about the winner. We chose her because of her accomplishment and she meets the criteria we asked for. Congratulations goes out to Violet Summer. The next award is the James Nunes Scholarship for the Performing Arts. This scholarship was established in memory of a beloved theater teacher, Mr. Nunes, who taught at Galt High School for 15 years and also at Liberty Ranch. Mrs. Carol Nunes, Mr. Mr. Nunes's mother, had this to say about the recipient. Jim so believed that if he could create a safe and nurturing environment within his theater walls, that his students would thrive. He hoped that when they took from his classes, excuse me, he hoped that what he took from his classes would follow them as he find their place in front and center on life stage. The recipient wrote a beautiful letter which clearly states why her involvement in drama made a true impact on her during her high school years. After reading her letter, we all felt that the performing arts were forever going to be a part of her and her future. Jim's family is grateful that Galt High School continues to believe in the drama program and supports Ms. Brown as she creates the same wonderful safe experience for her students to shine. 
As a side note, I'm thinking, says this donor, that Sai has told Jim all about the recipient and she will have a couple of guys sitting in the front row watching her successes. Congratulations to the Nunez Award recipient, Kelly Serena. Congratulations, Kelly. Um, Mrs. Nunez will be sending you your certificate and congratulations letter from the family along with instructions on how to claim your award. The next award is Galt Senior Citizens Club. The Senior Citizens Club of Galt would like to acknowledge the following winner with a $650 scholarship. On behalf of Mrs. Herseth and her committee, congratulations goes to Olivia Valdez. Dr. Chavez will give you your award, Olivia. Congratulations, Olivia. I have the next one, which is the Galt Sunrise Rotary Award. It is a community service organization that's been active since 2000. It consists of community and business leaders who are actively involved in serving our local community. They also are an international organization who supports projects such as Polio Plus, the eradication of polio worldwide. Our criteria for this scholarship is based on the Rotary saying, service above self. In the case of our winners, it was based on her community involvement. It was her essay and why she chose the healthcare field. And the winner of this award, the $500 award, is to Melody Maravilla. Congratulations, Melody. And the committee will be in touch after the Senior Awards event. The next scholarship we have is for Ian Peterson. This scholarship is given by Mr. and Mrs. Peterson, our very own faculty, in loving memory of their son, Ian. This award is given to a student at both Galt High School and Liberty Ranch who is planning on attending the military or a trade school. And the winner of this $500 award is going to Mr. Logan Mayfield. Congratulations, Logan. And I have your award and I will be giving it to you later. The next award is Galt Lions. Mrs. Ferguson, who represents the Lions, has this to say, we're here to serve. For over 50 years, the Galt Lions Club has served our community by providing for those who cannot afford it, glasses and hearing aids, for example. Year round, you will find Galt Lions Club members assisting local schools and organizations raise funds for worthy causes such as pancake breakfasts and dinners. Our annual Crab Feet, Herald Day, and Strawberry Festival booths provide us with the ability to sponsor local sporting groups and Boy Scouts, plus give scholarships. We are all about serving the community. Today, we are proud to give four $250 scholarships, six $75 honorariums to very deserving seniors at Galt High. It was a very difficult decision. These young adults demonstrated a willingness and commitment to serve the Galt community. Throughout their essays, they showed an understanding of what it is to serve by participating in gathering food and essential items for fire victims, feeding the homeless, raising funds for the Red Cross, providing hundreds of hours and tutoring services to, follow, to fellow students, keeping our community beautiful by participating in Galt cleanup days, volunteering to help special needs students, participating in soccer, using FFA and 4-H skills, to give free sheep sharing services and learning to give back to Galt. Our scholarship and honorarium winners also participate in many different high school clubs to serve many local fundraising efforts, our library and community at large. However, the most noteworthy came through all the essays that came through all the essays is the impact serving had on the lives of these young adults we can see that the future of our community is in very caring and capable hands. Thank you for your, thank you for your service. Congratulations to our $250 winners, and they are as follows. Kylie Little, Melody Maravilla, Silvia Rodriguez, Olivia Valdez. Congratulations to all of you. And now, also, congratulations to our honorable mention winners of $75, and they are as follows. Kayla Archer, Zeta Arias, Casey Benton, Betsy Robles, Violet Summer, Montserrat Valenzuela, and Karina Aguilar Mendoza. 
Mrs. Ferguson asked me to let you know that you'll be receiving your certificates and instructions in the mail for the $250 scholarships, and the recipient of the honorable mention will get their checks mailed to you. Next is the Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber has been a driving force in the local economy since its founding in the early 1900s. As a nonprofit organization, the Chamber is dedicated to serving our membership and connecting our members to the consumer community. Our membership of over 200 businesses is committed to the idea that there is strength in unity and that great things can be achieved through cooperative effort. The committee had this to say about the winner. She's been on the superintendent's honor roll, principal's honor roll, and competed over, completed over 100 hours of community service. She's involved with state FFA and wants to set, study international business. She's been involved in numerous clubs during her high school term, including Galt Youth Commission, CFS, and Tutoring Club. Many of the clubs she was in serviced as an officer, fundraising chair, VP, or treasurer. She comes with high letters of recommendation from her teachers as well. We are happy to support her in the next steps of her business career. This year, the committee is proud to award the $750 scholarship to Betsy Robles. Congratulations, Betsy, and the Chamber will give you your award directly. Congratulations, Betsy. The next award we have is for the St. Mary's Guild of St. Luke's Episcopal Church. The St. Luke's Episcopal Church Scholarship has been offered off and on for many years and began with the desire to support the youth of the Galt community. Because St. Luke's is the patron saint of doctors, the scholarship has always been offered to students with the intention of pursuing an education and career in the medical or health field. Our winner this year plans to attend CSU Sacramento and earn a degree in health administration. She has great leadership skills and likes to learn new things. She has a heart for her community, her family, and helping those less fortunate. She hopes to earn her master's in health administration and one day be the director of our hospital. Our 2020 award of $750 goes to Ms. Melody Maravilla. Congratulations, Melody. The next scholarship is the Galt High Alumni Association Scholarship. The GHAA awards many scholarships to our students at both Liberty Ranch and Galt High School. This year's recipient for the Visual and Performing Arts Award from the Galt High Alumni Association is one that works hard and is not afraid to take risks. Part of her experience at Galt High School has led her to earn a varsity letter for the tennis team, as well as perform monologues by diving into new characters and exploring the world of words of others. She has been involved in Future Farmers of America by showing a goat at County Fair, inspired her peers and challenged others with her leadership while still growing as a student herself. This student's time as a warrior was fondly comprised of theater, athletics and agriculture. All of these different experiences have shaped her into the true young lady she is today. She was voted the student with the kindest heart by her classmates. As an alumnus, she would love to come back and support the sports teams at Galt High School. Being part of VAPA has changed her for the better. She looks forward to what the VAPA program will do in the future and cannot imagine Galt High School without it. In the fall, she plans to attend Delta College and pursue nursing as a career. We wish you the best in all your endeavors and know the nursing industry will be better because you are in it. It is with great excitement and anticipation that our association awards Kayla Archer with the $500 Visual and Performing Arts Award. Congratulations. Alt High Alumni Association was formed in the spring of 1991. Their main goal is to raise funds for scholarships through alumni dinners and reunions. This year, we will be awarding a total of $6,600 to graduating seniors from both Liberty Ranch and Galt High. The first award comes from the General Scholarship Fund and is given to a student who was invited to participate in an after-school peer tutoring program for Galt High School. The student accepted the invitation and rose above and beyond the expectations of her math teacher. She had an incredible role working with students and showing a confidence in teaching students who struggle with their math skills. She has a warm personality and strong work ethic. She was definitely an asset to the math tutoring program and will be highly missed. 
She has been involved in community service and was the committee chair for Galt High School's local Future Farmers of America chapter. This student volunteered at Harvest Festivals, the Tiny Smile Run, and the Extravaganza, just to name a few. It is said that she completes each community event with diligence and a smile on her face. She is truly just happy to give back to a community that has given so much to her. She's been involved in varsity tennis and cross country, many FFA competitions, along with being an active member of CSF and the vice president of LHS her senior year. She's learned the value behind teamwork and the importance of showing kindness to her peers. She hopes to pursue an environmental engineer degree with an emphasis on horticulture at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo this fall. In the distant future, she'd like to work on projects to find ways to reduce pollution and waste involving the producing of our food along with improving the overall health of our planet and population. Someday she hopes to give back to her community by fostering new programs to help high school students succeed in pursuing what they are passionate about. It is with great honor that the Galt High Alumni Association awards Zeta Arias its $1,100 scholarship. Congratulations, we wish you the best for your future. The next general scholarship award from the Galt High Alumni Association goes to a student that has the extraordinary ability to balance her academics with her many extracurricular activities. She has been an active and involved part in making the Galt High campus culture a positive one through her leadership classes. She has helped lead and support on campus rallies and events. It's incredible that she has been a part of the Galt High School varsity cross country and soccer teams for her entire school career. This selfless student has spent many hours volunteering for FFA where she gained her state FFA degree as well as being employed at Cattlemen's Livestock Market where she was responsible for detailed paperwork and proper documentation at auctions. Not only is she a well-balanced student athlete, she also loves her community. She comes from a long line of Galt High alumni. As a child, she would dream of playing soccer in the stadium at Galt High School. In the last four years, she has made that dream come true. She attributes her value for hard work to her grandfather, whom she loves. She believes he is the foundation behind her ethic for hard work and perseverance. This warrior is not afraid of challenges or hardships, and she is very passionate about helping others in the Galt community. In the fall, she plans to attend Chico State and pursue a career in criminal justice. After receiving her bachelor degree in criminal justice, she may pursue a career in law. In her distant future, she aspires to send her own children to Galt High School and continue to grow her family's warrior tradition. It is with great honor that I award the Galt High Alumni Association General Scholarship in the amount of $2,000 to a student who is ready for the challenging road ahead in the next chapter of her life. Congratulations, Violet Summer. The last Galt High Alumni Association Memorial Scholarship is dedicated to Gustav and Anna E. Gerling. Gustav was on the Galt High School Board for 25 years and also served as board president. He had a strong belief in giving all students every possible chance to succeed. He was there for all of his children's graduations and was able to proudly and personally hand each of them their high school diploma. Anna was a grassroots supporter. She acted as chaperone for all of her children's field trips and was on the PTA throughout their school years. She supported her children by giving her time, energy, and by cooking and baking for fundraisers when needed. Together they ran their small dairy in Galt and raised all six of their children, Anna Marie, Margaret, Terry, Alice, Susan, and Daniel. Those very children, now grown, believe that donating to scholarships can provide an opportunity for students to earn a higher education. They understand without assistance from an outside source, some students may have trouble paying for the degree they need in order to enter the workforce and become a contributing member of society. Without the kindness of others, the road to such a degree could be more difficult. The Girling siblings are hopeful this understanding and sentiment is passed on and paid forward. 
They trust the recipient of this scholarship will continue with the tradition of paying it forward throughout their life. They hope the recipient of this scholarship will find ways to donate to scholarships in his or her future. Having said all that, I'm excited to announce this year's recipient of the Gustav and Anna E. Gurley Memorial Scholarship. The student who is receiving this award is a young woman who works to maximize her potential as a student, leader, and professional in the agriculture industry. She is nothing short of impressive, diligent, conscientious, and curious. This student is simply exceptional. She holds a GPA that is over 4.0 and has had a schedule of several AP classes. It is said that she is a natural leader who engages those around her in a variety of ways that they too then become motivated to excel and fulfill their goals. This extraordinary student has been involved in several different supervised agricultural experience programs, including raising market hogs, breeding rabbits, sheep, and poultry. She has earned her state FFA degree and will easily earn her American FFA degree. She's a two-time state FFA champion and is a seventh place national competitor in the agricultural issues for a career development event. She has been an ASB officer, regional FFA vice president, and varsity athlete. Her teammates and coaches have commented that she is easy to work with, does everything she has asked, and couples a determination to improve with efforts put forth to help her teammates succeed as well. She has loved her time at Galt High School, specifically being part of the FFA family. She is a first generation college student who has dedication and courage to pursue her dreams. After graduation, she plans to attend CSU Chico and major in agriculture science and education. It is her goal to eventually earn a teaching credential and serve as an agriculture teacher in California. As if that is not enough, she would like to continue on and earn her master's degree in education, agriculture as well. In the distant future, this highly motivated student plans to use her skills and knowledge to help students in and around Galt reach their goals and maximize their potential as well. She has said, quote, Wherever I go in life, my knowledge, skills, experiences, growing wisdom, and heart will always be ready to give back to the small town that we call home, end quote. This student is sure to excel in whatever she chooses to do in life. I'm sure she will attain her dreams and reach all of her goals while in college, and there is no doubt in my mind that with the heart as big as hers, she will come back to give back to the small town that gave so much to her. Without further delay, please help me congratulate this year's Galt High Alumni Association recipient of the Gustav and Anna E. Gerling Memorial Scholarship of $2,500. Congratulations, Mia Arisman. And the next one we have Dr. Chavez again. Thank you, Mrs. Beck. The next one is the Galt Youth Commission. The Galt Youth Commission selected two applicants from GHS to receive a $250 scholarship. The Galt Youth Commission scholarship recognizes students for their community service and leadership in the community. Our first winner is Betsy Robles. Congratulations, Betsy. The committee had this to say about Betsy. Betsy's essay demonstrated how opportunities to provide community service had strengthened her personal leadership skills, which helped her grow as a person. Our second winner is Karina Aguilar. The committee shared, Karina clearly articulates how serving the community has made her a more humble person. As she stated in her essay, community service allows you to see the reality you live in and become more appreciative of what you have. Ladies, make sure you contact the city clerk's office to claim your scholarship. You will need proof of your college course registrations, and you can reach them at this number, 209-366-7130. Again, congratulations. The next scholarship that we have is the Yenokita Family Warrior of Excellence Scholarship. This scholarship is presented by the children of Michie Yenokita, and they are Dr. Gordon Yenokita, Brian Yenokita, Lloyd Yenokita, Sue Ann Kashiwagi, 
and Janice Ono, who passed away last year. They were all proud warriors and graduates of Galt High. Just a little bit about the scholarship. Michie was a librarian at Galt High School for almost 30 years. She loved this school and the students, as well as the Galt community. Galt High School named the library in honor of her, and also Mrs. Nunez. She started the scholarship to help students who were on the boys and girls soccer teams because she had grandsons who played soccer and were recognized by colleges, and they also participated at the college level. The Yenokita family gladly continues to offer this scholarship in her honor. This evening, the two recipients both have shown leadership, excellent work ethic, and a willingness to help others through their Galt High School careers. Their teachers and coaches have all commented on how they've grown and, and contributed to Galt High and the community. Congratulations to the Yenokita family scholarship winners of 500 each. Those go to Jose Santos and Violet Summer. And now, Mrs. Beck. Congratulations, Jose and Violet, on that award. I have the Cal Waste Scholarship next, and Miss Lisa Klotz has had this to share about the winner of the $500 scholarship. Carlos comes highly recommended by his Power Mechanics Pathway instructor for both his work with small engines and compact diesel and electric mechanics. As a member of the small engines team, Carlos has represented himself, students, and staff of Galt High School and our community in competitions up and down the state. It is Carlos' discipline and motivation that has earned him this $500 scholarship. Congratulations. Again, this scholarship goes to Mr. Carlos Valdovinos. Congratulations, Carlos. The next scholarship I have is for the Eric Leeworthy Memorial. Eric was a gifted athlete. Eric excelled on the basketball, baseball, and golf teams at Galt High School before graduating in 2007. Eric was passionate about golf, and he's embraced the sport since he was age seven. You would often find Eric on the course with his family and friends perfecting his game. Eric was a loyal friend to many and will always be remembered for his fun-loving ways. He had an energetic, vibrant soul. His family and friends will miss him, his smile, his hugs, the joy that he brought them. Those who had the pleasure of knowing him will always cherish his memories. Eric, at age 19, passed away on October 7, 2008 in Lodi and had lived in Galt since 1997. In order to repay the kindness demonstrated to the Leeworthy family after the passing of Eric, the Eric Leeworthy Memorial Scholarship was created. This awards academic and athletic scholarships in the name of Eric. This year's winners of $600 each goes to Francisco Alvarez and Betsy Robles. And next for the Tom Beach Memorial Scholarship, back to Dr. Chavez. Thank you, Mrs. Beck. By the way, congratulations, Francisco and Betsy, for the Lee Worthy Scholarship. Now, on to the Tom Beach Memorial. Mrs. Jacqueline Coppola, Mr. Veach's widow, had this to share. When he was just 12 years old, Tom Veach's dad died. The following year, his mother moved to Florida with a new man. During his high school years, he lived with his sister's family in a depressed area of North Sacramento. Summers were spent at his grandfather's farm near Portland, Oregon. His uncles in Oregon stepped in as father figures to Mr. Veach, but it was the high school, high school teachers and coaches, particularly his football coaches, who guided him through the most difficult teenage years. These are the circumstances which led Mr. Veach's pursuit of a high school teaching career. No one understood and cared for teenagers, particularly those attending high school under difficult circumstances, as much as Mr. Veach. It is with this background of understanding that the awardees of the Tom Veach Memorial Scholarship were chosen. The first awardee is Mia Erisman. Congratulations, Mia. Like Mr. Veach, she is a first-generation college-bound family member. Similar to Mr. Veach, Mia had also had difficult family situations while trying to navigate through high school. I believe this experience has enabled her to develop those personal attributes that Dane White so thoroughly and eloquently outlined in his letter of recommendation. Mia has displayed the social, academic, and athletic qualities that are sure to lead her to successful college education like Mr. Veach, a successful teaching career. 
The second Tom Veach Memorial Scholarship Award belongs to Olivia Valdez. Congratulations, Olivia. Olivia has also endured a difficult family situation while trying to complete high school. Extra emotional burdens on top of the normal emotional hardships of teens can make or break a student. As a testament to her tenacity, Olivia has excelled in academics, sports, and leadership. She has developed empathy within her family, which will carry over to her future relationships. This empathy will serve her well in her career choice as a registered nurse. She has well thought out educational plans, and I applaud her chosen path, as I, Mr. Veach's widow, also attained a master's degree in nursing. I wish her much success. Congratulations again, Olivia and, me, and Mia. The next award is the Ray Davis Memorial. Alexis Davis had this to say about the scholarship and the recipients. Ray Davis was a lifetime member of the Galt community. He had a passion for service that led him to build a life active, no, I gotta start that over, okay. The next award is the Ray Davis Memorial. Alexis Davis had this to say about the scholarship and the recipients. Ray Davis was a lifetime member of the Galt community. He had a passion for service that led him to build a life actively participating in community organizations such as the Galt Junior Warriors and supporting the Galt Liberty FFA program. He was blessed to have the opportunity to build lasting and meaningful relationships through business and athletics and establish a family that loves the Galt community as much as he did. When selecting the students to receive this scholarship, we wanted to stay true to the spirit of Ray Davis. He was a simple man. So the goal of this scholarship was to simply give the awards to the students that were able to share their desire to continue their education, as well as explain their opportunities to serve their community. The following students from the class of 2020 are the recipients for the Ray Davis, Ray Davis Memorial Scholarship. The FFA scholarship for $2,000 goes to Mia Erisman. Congratulations, Mia. The 2000 athletic scholarship goes to Jose Raul Santos Zamudio. Congratulations to you as well. And then there are also two scholarships for $1,000, and those go to Francisco Alvarez and Silvia Rodriguez. And then finally, two more scholarships each of $750 to Olivia Valdez and Kayla Archer. Congratulations, everyone. And now, wow, this is congratulations. Ben. That is a huge amount to offer our kids. Thank you very much to the Ray Davis Memorial. The next scholarship is the BMD Steve and Anna Ellenwood Scholarship. Building Material Distributors Incorporated, BMD, and its corporate headquarters is in Galt, has sponsored the Steve and Anna Ellenwood Community Scholarship since 2008. This scholarship is awarded to commemorate the company's former president, CEO, and chairperson of the board and his wife, who were lifelong advocates of community programs for children. BMD is a proud member of the Galt community and honored to provide two scholarships to recognize accomplished graduating seniors who have worked hard to achieve academic success while actively supporting the local community. Our heart goes out to these years graduating seniors. Stay strong seniors and good luck as you start on your new path to beginning your future. The committee had this to say about their winner. She is not only an accomplished athlete, but has also demonstrated leadership skills as team captain while achieving excellent grades throughout high school. She actively supports her community through volunteer work with the Sacramento Public Library, tutoring and participation in the Galt chapter of the FFA, and she has demonstrated a maturity beyond her years in support of the family that she loves. Aguilar's actions exemplify several of BMD's core values, people, teamwork, and excellence. This year's $1,000 award, again, goes to Ms. Karina Aguilar Madera. Congratulations, Karina. And the next scholarship is the Valley Oaks Grange Hall Scholarship, presented by our lovely Dr. Chavez again. Thank you, Mrs. Beck. Congratulations again, Karina. The Valley Oaks Grange Hall Scholarship 
is awarding a student who exhibits academic achievement, exemplary behavior in and around school, and is active in campus organizations such as being a class officer, being in a club, um, or in an extracurricular activity um, and participating in athletics or band or vocal music FFA. This year, the $500 scholarship is awarded to Melody Maravilla, and the $250 scholarship goes to Olivia Valdez. Congratulations, ladies. And then the next scholarship we have is to one of our students who chose to go to the University of Wyoming. And he received a $16,000 scholarship to attend the school. A big congratulations to Luke Irvin. Congratulations, Luke. Now on to department awards. And here's Mrs. Beck to start us and take us through them. Thank you. We're really flying through this program this evening. And our first department award, and we are giving out these um, medals to the students who have earned this honor, is for the Agricultural Department. And the winners for this department are Victoria Miranda and David Vittoria. Congratulations. The next department is the VAPA Department. And the awards for this go to Kelly Serena, and Callie Galvin. Congratulations, ladies. The next department is the best biomedical department, and this year's winner is Erica Corrales. Congratulations, Erica. For the best engineering department, the award this evening goes to Mr. Adam Crawford. Congratulations, Adam. And last, for the best technology department, this award is going to Joshua Bellarmino. Congratulations, Josh. And now we have the English department. And the English department would like to recognize several students this evening. They are Miss Laura Lopez, Gabrielle Martin, Zeta Arias, Kylie Little, and Blake Beck. For the Foreign Language Department, they would like to honor Madeline Baker, Betsy Robles, and Brianna Ramirez. Congratulations, ladies. Now for our Culinary Arts Program, Mrs. Antrobus would like to recognize Miss Michelle Razo and Melissa Razo. Congratulations. Now to the math department. The math department would like to honor this year's senior, Tiffany Sue. Congratulations, Tiffany. For our science department, Mr. Corona and crew would like to honor Ms. Yasmin Villanueva. Congratulations. For our social science department, the honor goes to Cruz Cortez and Cesar Marin Jr. Congratulations. And for our P department, Mr. Simperman and crew would like to give this award to Mr. Zachary Syrak. Congratulations, Zach. And lastly, for our resiliency award from all the departments, the honor goes to two young ladies, Miss Ava Macias and Mary Holtz. Congratulations to all our department winners. And we will have this nice little pin ready for you when you pick up your senior packets. All right. Okay, now I've got the Seal of Biliteracy. The Seal of Biliteracy recognizes students who excel in English and also a world language. And the, the recipients are as follows. Karina Aguilar, Leslie Alfaro, Francisco Alvarez, Zeta Arias, Mia Arisman, Madeline Baker, Maritza Bermudez, Aaron Cam, Maritza Seja, Erica Corrales, Jose Falomir, Ruben Flores, Enrique Garcia, Kenneth Garcia, Vanessa Gomez, Tyler Johnston, Elizabeth Leon, Marcelo Lopez, Gilberto Lopez, Nancy Luna, Abel Manriquez, Melody Maravilla, Cesar Marin, Gabriel Martin, Jessica McAllister, Elvia Mosqueda, Montserrat Osegueda, 
Melanie Osegueda, Mario Paredes, Madison Peterson, Emily Feifel, Brianna Ramirez, Girodano Ramos, Brandon Ramos Arias, Michelle Razo, Maria Reyes, Betsy Robles, Sylvia Rodriguez, Jasmine Romo, Emily Salazar, Leslie Sanchez, Jose Santos, Halen Stallions, Adamaris Torres Garcia, Adriana Torres Maldonado, Angela Uoa, Olivia Valdez, Carlos Valdovinos, Montserrat Valenzuela, Maria Villalobos, Yasmin Villanueva, and Dulce Zaragoza. Congratulations, everyone. Good evening. My name is Cheryl Reese, and I'm the department chairperson for the Galt Agriculture Department. Each year, the Galt Ag Department is honored to offer awards and scholarships to deserving students that have excelled in our program, as well as on our campus and in our community. The following scholarships are provided by mem members of our community in loving remembrance of their family members. I am honored to share with you the Galt FFA members that are recipients of these awards tonight. The Jesus and Esperanza Garcia Achievement Award. The family of Jesus and Esperanza Garcia are sponsoring two scholarships in their memory. The scholarship is based on leadership, FFA participation, financial need, and future potential. These recipients are active members that lead many times from behind the scenes, but continue to be positive examples for their peers. The winners of these scholarship awards are Ms. Sylvia Rodriguez and Ms. Nancy Luna. The Troy Brooks Memorial Scholarship. In loving memory, the family and friends of Troy Brooks award annually a scholarship to a senior who exhibits outstanding leadership and achievement in FFA and agriculture education. Qualities such as animal husbandry, work ethic, character, and integrity are taken into consideration when choosing this award recipient, as those are the qualities that Troy Brooks exemplified. It is my pleasure to award this scholarship to Mr. David Vittoria. The Bruno and Eleanor Rouser Memorial Award. The Greg Rouser family offers annually an award to a senior in memory of Bruno and Eleanor Rouser. Bruno and Eleanor dedicated their lives to agriculture and were supporters of education in the community. This award is presented to a student that has been a dedicated member of the Galt FFA chapter for four years and exemplifies the many positive qualities and traits that Bruno and Eleanor lived their lives by. The student receiving this award tonight is Mr. Mariano Alvarez. The Sandra Pellandini Memorial Scholarship. Each year, the family of Sandra Pellandini provides a scholarship in her honor to a worthy Galt FFA member. Sandra was a strong advocate of agriculture education and the FFA. Because of her dedication to the community and to students, her family wanted to continue providing assistance to the dedicated students of the Galt FFA chapter. Students eligible for this award are those who plan on attending community college, trade school, or a university. The recipient of the Sandra Pellandini Memorial Scholarship is Mr. Matthew Barlow. The Alcides de Mello Memorial Scholarship. Alcides de Mello was an active Galt High FFA member. He was well liked by his peers and teachers alike. He worked hard on his family's farm and participated at the fair and on the dairy judging team. He was always willing to lend a helping hand and work behind the scenes to make sure events ran smoothly. It is an honor to present a scholarship in his memory to a hardworking young lady that possesses many of the same qualities. This young lady is always willing to help and continually wears a smile. Congratulations to this scholarship recipient, Miss Victoria Miranda. Hi, my name is Alexis Welch and I am presenting the Jim Welch Memorial Scholarship in memory of my father, James Todd Welch, who passed away on August 8th, 2018. He was a soft-spoken, kind-hearted, gentle giant with a great work ethic and passion for agriculture. While attending Galt High School, he started his own custom haystacking business 
Jim Welch Hay Service. In 1994, he started a bailing business, Welch and Silvera Inc. He was involved in every aspect of the business, growing, harvesting, marketing, and repairing equipment. The scholarship was funded by family, friends, and fellow farmers to recognize a student with the same love of agriculture. In reviewing the scholarship applicants, we chose this year's recipient because of her love for agriculture. She is a hard worker, an active FFA member who started a sheep business with her family. We wish her great success as she pursues her education in becoming an agriculture teacher. We feel proud to select Kylie Little as our 2020 Jim Walsh Memorial Scholarship winner for Galt High School. Thank you. Hi, my name is Scott Smith and I'm with the Galt Ag Boosters. We're a nonprofit organization that was formed to support both Galt and Liberty Ranches, FFA chapters, and agriculture departments. This year, we are donating $15,000 in scholarships to students who are not only active in their FFA chapters and agriculture departments, but who are also active in their school and the community. This year's Galt Ag Boosters scholarship recipients are Zeta Arias, Mia Arisman, Casey Benton, Kylie Little, Logan Mayfield, Ethan Reese, Sylvia Rodriguez, Violet Summer, Olivia Valdez, and Jose Santos. Congratulations and best wishes for the future. Thank you on behalf of the Galt Agriculture Program staff. We wish the class of 2020 the best and most amazing future. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Mrs. Bear and I'm here with Mr. Posey and we're honored to present the Character and Athletic Awards for Galt High School. The first award I'll be presenting for athletics is the A. Dale Lackey Award. It's the nominee for the Sierra Valley Conference. And this student was one of 48 students in the Sac Joaquin section, over 200 high schools. Uh, and that goes to Logan Mayfield. Good job, Logan. The next award I'm presenting is the Galt High School Scholar Athletes Award. And that's to a male student at Galt High School and a female. And those go to Logan Mayfield and Madison Peterson. And those two awards are for academic excellence in the classroom, as well as achievement in the athletic arena. The next award I'm presenting is for the Galt High School Athlete of the Year. Again, this is strictly for athletics, and it goes to one male and one female student of the graduating class. And the female recipient was Haley Sanchez. And the male athlete of the year for Galt High School is Ethan Reese. Congratulations to all of our athletes. And I will now present the Red and White G Award, which is an award that the staff comes together to present to 10 seniors of the graduating class. These students are nominated because of their outstanding character and contributions to our school culture and community. These students each exemplify what it really means to be a warrior. Our winners are Ethan Reese, Mia Arisman, Gabrielle Martin, Logan Mayfield, Betsy Robles, Yasmin Villanueva, Jose Santos, Zeta Arias, Macario Bermudez, and Jessica McAllister. Congratulations to all of the Red and White G Award recipients. Hi, this is Mrs. Beckett representing the Best Academy teachers. We want to recognize all of our students who are graduating this year that have succeeded in taking at least three Best Academy classes in the same pathway, earning C's or better. Some students will have also earned B's or better in those classes and will be receiving medallions from Project Lead the Way when they pick up their goodies. These students are Madeline Baker, Joshua Bellarmino, Aaron Cam, Erica Corrales, Adam Crawford, Kenneth Garcia, Abel Menriquez, Jessica McAllister, Montserrat Osegueda, Maria Reyes, Halen Stallions, and Tiffany Sue.
Congratulations to all of our 2020 Best Academy Stole and Medallion winners. Now I've got the final honorees for CSF. CSF is an organization in senior high schools throughout the state of California that's designed to recognize and honor superior academic achievement and citizenship. Membership is based on a point system that only awards credits for A's and B's earned in core classes. In addition to academic performance, students are required to complete community service each semester and attend regular meetings. We are honored to present the following awards. CSF has three distinct awards. The first award is for any student who qualifies for CSF for at least two semesters. You will see these students wearing a gold tassel with their graduation gear. And the students are as follows. Karina Aguilar Madera, Madeline Baker, Nancy Luna, Gabrielle Martin, Jessica McAllister, Madison Peterson, Michelle Rosso, Silvia Rodriguez, Olivia Valdez, and Yasmin Villanueva. Congratulations, everyone. The second award is the Life Member Seal Bearer Award and is given to students who have been CSF members for at least one semester from their years in high school. Students who achieve the seal bearer status are awarded a gold honor cord, a gold tassel, and a CSF pin to wear with their graduation gear. They also receive a certificate and a CSF seal on their high school diploma. This year's Life Member Seal Bearer Awards go to Melody Maravilla and Betsy Robles. Congratulations, ladies. And now, I'd like to honor those students who have achieved 100% CSF membership status by being CSF members for all semesters during their high school careers. These students receive an honor stole, a gold tassel, and a CSF pin to wear with their graduation gear. In addition, they receive a certificate and a CSF seal on their high school diploma. This year's recipients of the 100% CSF membership award goes to Zeta Arias, Aaron Cam, Halen Stallions, and Tiffany Sue. Congratulations, everyone. And now back to Mrs. Beck for the Thank you. Awards. Congratulations, everybody who's in CSF. I was also in CSF in high school, so it's a great organization, and you should be very proud. I have the next two awards, which are principal awards. Um, the first one is the Principal Leadership Merit Award. And this person demonstrates the ability to combine academic excellence and exemplary leadership role in school and the community. This year, I would like to present this award to Ms. Mia Arisman. I had actually selected Mia long before she became our California FFA Secretary for the 2020-21 year, next year. That is such an incredible accomplishment. It is her calling to lead with kindness, caring, positivity, and supporting others. Students respect her and admire her and her dedication to achieve, achieve her dreams. And she makes the Galt community proud by leading us to, in the state level in the FFA. Congratulations, Mia, and good luck. The last principal's award is the Principal Citizenship Award. This is for a student demonstrating good citizenship throughout the four years of high school. And this year, I would like to present this honor to Miss Karina Aguilar. I have selected Karina for this honor because of her incredible positive attitude and her kind heart of gold. Karina is a pleasure for her teachers to have in class and is a role model to her fellow students on the court. Karina doesn't give up. She works hard to be successful in all areas of her life and her smile is contagious. I have one story to tell you about how this young lady approaches life. At an honor roll assembly with her parents watching supporting her, her name didn't get called to receive her superintendent's honor roll certificate. Somehow the certificate had gotten lost. She came after to see me after the ceremony and all I could do was apologize for not having her certificate. And she was not, she was sad, but she wasn't angry and she didn't blame. She just said, it's okay, Mrs. Beck. 
because that moment didn't define her. She is an honor roll student, not for the certificate and recognition, but for herself. Karina, you are an amazing young lady, beautiful inside and out. Good luck to you, and you deserve to be honored. Thank you. And now we have, wow, are we already to the top 10? Um, How is yep. this happening? We're already no. there. Okay, wow. here we go. So we have um, the top 10 students of the graduating class of 2020. Um, the first, in no particular order, right? Or this, this is, is alphabetical. This is an alphabetical okay. order. Alphabetical order. So I'll read the first one and you read maybe the next one. We'll go back to back yes, just for a little sure. fun. Absolutely. Okay, since we're getting towards the end. Yes. All right. So I, the first one is Zeta Arias, who will go into Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. The second one is Aaron Cam. He will be attending a University of California campus. And next we have Erica Corrales, who is at this time undecided. And then there's Logan Mayfield. He will be going to West Point. Next we have Maria Reyes, who will be attending UC Davis. And Jasmine Romo, UC Santa Cruz. Next, Halen Stallins, who will be going to UCLA. And Tiffany Sue, who will also be attending UCLA. And then second to last, Olivia Valdez, who will be attending Sacramento City College. And we'll end it with Yasmin Villanueva, who will be attending UC Davis. Okay, and the moment that we've all been waiting for, and, and then I'll have you hold up this beautiful medal that we'll be giving out for the salutatorian. So this year's 2020 salutatorian for the graduating class is, wait for it, dun dun dun, dun dun dun. Okay, I have it here, I really do. Is Aaron Cam. Congratulations, Yay. Aaron. Congratulations, Woo. Aaron. Okay, and then lastly, our 2020 valedictorian this year's graduating class is Miss Tiffany Sue. Yay! Yay. Congratulations, Congratulations, Tiffany. Tiffany. Woo! Okay. Awesome. And then we have some closing remarks before we end the evening. Dr. Travis, yeah. would you like to start? Sure. Be glad to. We're really very, very glad that you joined us this evening. I wish we could do it in person, but. Um, I'm glad that you at least have this opportunity to, to see and celebrate the winners. Congratulations again to all the recipients of the local scholarships and department recognitions. I'm sure that you will all go on to do great things in your futures, and I'm so proud to have been part of your journey. Donors, I'm once again indebted to your generosity. Thank you so very much for working with me on this, to honor of our students, and, and just to give them something uplifting um, as they go on to their futures. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. And for me, one big congratulations again to all of our seniors this year. You all should be recognized. We understand what a challenging year this has been for all of you, and we are incredibly proud of your grit and resiliency through these difficult times. I would also like to mention and thank the families and the parents who without you and your support for your seniors would not have the success that they have had for these four years throughout high school. So we thank you for supporting them and loving them and entrusting us to do best by them. And lastly, in closing, I have just a few reminders of some things coming up, which you guys can also see on your Canvas page for your senior class. On May 20th at 8 to 11, seniors will come through and drop off your textbooks and your computers and pay any fines and such and pick up your lawn sign that will be proudly put in your yard in front so everybody can see that you're a graduating senior of Galt High School this year. Um, and then lastly, we have May 28th, which is our celebration drive through that we have been talking to you guys about. And this is where you will receive all of these awards, your certificates, your caps and gowns, your stoles and your cords for your clubs and also for your participation in the pathways. So be ready to receive all of that on May 28th and more information will follow um, in the Canvas page that we've been communicating with you through. Um, Again, thank you all and have a wonderful evening.